guys, it's Erin. Happily we go here. I'm so excited to be back on YouTube this year. Woohoo! Happy February, love month. Um, today we are going to be doing a hop. This is the Live Art Journaling and Self-Development Group, and we are celebrating 1,500, actually 1,600 members now, over on Facebook. So for my hop project, we're going to make this fun little teeny galactic journal, and I will put the link down in the description box below for you to go over, check out the Facebook group, and if you stay tuned until the end of the video, you can figure out how you might just be able to win this little journal. Now let's get to it. So we're going to start off with some sketch paper. I don't even know the weight of this paper. Look how thin it is. You can actually see your hand through it. But I love the feel of it. Um, so you don't have to go expensive. Just grab yourself some cheapo paper and then get some bowls. We want to make circles. So you want a perfect circle. Um, you can use a teeny little one, a bigger one. Today I'm going to use this bowl because I want kind of like a medium size. And we're just going to go ahead and trace out the bowl. Then grab your trusty scissors and cut them out. I'm just going to grab a box and stick my circles in there. We're going to use a bunch of different ink sprays today. I have Dilutions and Lindy's. I think those are probably the two brands I'm going to use most. Um, you can use any sprays that you have, Tattered Angels, whatever. I like a little sparkle with mine, so of course that's why I'm going with my Lindy's. I will attempt to put all of the colors that I use down in the description box below, but you do not have to use the colors I use. You can use whatever colors you want. I'm kind of going with a green, blue, purpley on one of the circles, and then kind of like red, orange, um, yellowy on another, sort of planetary. That's, that's the feel I'm going for. But you can use whatever colors you feel pulled to create with. that shimmer it's hard to kind of capture on camera but it does look much prettier in person so now we're gonna grab um, just a little mat here and we're gonna take some distress ink if you have the little pads on the bottom those work great but I'm gonna show you something I like to do it's just using a makeup wedge super cheap from even the dollar store I think those might have been Walmart and then we're gonna go around the edges of both of the circles front and back We're 
gonna grab some stencil snacks. So get your collection together. And now look at these beauties. Aren't they so pretty? Looking very uh, planetary here. And we're gonna figure out which one do you wanna have on top? Which one do you want like the, the main inside? And we're gonna grab our stencils. Now I have some Martha Stewart watercolor paint here. I thought it might be fun to play with. I've never used it before, got it on clearance. Um, and I just poured a little bit with some water in a cup. And now I'm gonna take another makeup wedge and we're just gonna uh, tap it through the stencil. Now my idea was because it was the Dilutions paints that I could just kind of layer and then lift up some of it. Uh, that didn't work out quite well, but it's okay because we're not going for kapow in your face. We want a very subtle layering and we're going to continue to layer with stencils, um, stamps, and uh, yeah, so we're just going to have fun. the gesso that was up here I'm gonna kind of tap and brush on with my finger the paint and then just stamp it on you can totally do this um, with any of your stamps but uh, if it's something you love you may not want to in case uh, it gets stuck in the nooks and crannies just make sure that as soon as you are done you wash it with soap and water so that way you get all of the paint off of your stamp weathered wood stuff it actually smells and kind of feels like glue so I'm sure maybe that's kind of what it is I've never used it before and I thought why not whip it up for the project it almost gave it like a lacquer look the colors just really popped underneath it which was kind of cool um, unfortunately it didn't give me much of a weathered look granted I didn't put uh, the acrylic paint over top of it because that would have covered up all of our beautiful artwork already but I just smudged it around and then went ahead and dried it and, um, you know, kind of gave it a, a cool, uh, shiny effect, and I just did it to one side. Um, but yeah, that's the fun of art, is just pull out things you have that maybe you haven't used, or things that you want to play with and see how they work, and uh, test them out. So see, as you can see, it's kind of shiny in some spots and uh, not shiny in others. It's kind of give it a like, cool, crinkly thing. So I went ahead and sprayed a little bit more Lindy's over the top of it, thinking maybe it might kind of bring out that uh, weathered, sort of crackled look. Um, it did not, but that's okay because we're rolling with it and, uh, you know, it's still looking pretty cool. Thank you. 
So here's a little bit of a close-up. You can kind of see a little bit of texturing on there, um, not too much. We don't want to add too much texture because we're actually going to fold these circles um, to make our pages. This is going to form the pages in our little journal. So we're going to take our circle and fold it in half one way and then open it up, still a little bit sticky there. Um, and then we're going to fold it the opposite direction. So that way we have a little cross in the middle. It's kind of hard to see. Um, but we're going to do that with both of our circles, and then we're going to have these cute little triangles. I'm going to take scissors and just cut up one line. So just one section of the little circle, and we're going to stop at the middle. And we're going to go ahead and do that with both circles. Okay, so now that we have our circles cut, we got to figure out which side we want on the outside and which side we want on the inside, which, you know, um, making decisions takes me forever. So once we have it figured out, um, we're going to fold down each side of the little circle so we have like teeny little baby carriages. Oh, look at there they are with the flaps on the bottom. There we go. And now we're going to line them up. So we're going to stick them right together and make one full circle see that and I'm gonna take you could use clear tape if you wanted but I have some uh, Dina Wakely mixed media tape and I thought the colors kind of match so oh there's my head so we're gonna go ahead and tape the two circle pieces together and now another thing I like to do to help kind of bring it all together instead of just having this tape sticking there like a sore thumb is take some more of that tape and I, instead of keeping it like a long rectangle I'm gonna rip it into little pieces and stick it all over the pages randomly um, and and this will bring it all together again it's kind of like we did all the stencils we did all of the stamping on everything uh, so it uh, makes it one cohesive piece washi all over we're gonna go ahead and start folding up our journal so start with the innermost triangle circle and then just keep folding 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 as you go until you get to um, the very end triangle again and then we have our little journal pages aren't they so cute the little triangle so now we're gonna go ahead and work on the cover and the back side for our journal so take your little triangle piece and I have just some cardboard here. I cut off the lid from a box that I got and we're gonna measure it out. So I'm gonna leave just a little bit off the top and then kind of also take the same amount on the top and then put it on the bottom so we have like a little framed area. And then grab a ruler. Well, you don't have to use a ruler. I just wanna, you know, make my life a little easier and then go ahead and cut that out. Now that we have our front and back covers all cut out, guess what we're doing? We're bringing back the sprays. We're just going to go ahead and spray one side of the cardboard and I'm just going to get crazy with the Dilusions and the Lindy's again and just sort of make like a little galactic uh, universe kind of scene with sparkles and light and some uh, white splatter paints. But you could do your cover however you want.
get an all inky. Um, we've got our covers here, the front and the back. Oh, look at that shimmer. I'm so excited about it. So now I have a needle, and then this is some wax uh, linen thread. You could use uh, just regular thread if you had it. Um, you could skip this and bind however you want. It's all up to you. But I'm going to go ahead and go in, see if you can see kind of where the corrugated uh, part of the cardboard is. And I'm just going to go in that first kind of area there and just, uh, you know, every little bit down, go ahead and poke a hole in it with my needle. And then I'm going to grab that uh, wax linen and I'm going to hold down the end of it and then go from the bottom to the top and pull my stitches around. And then the stitches are gonna hold that back little piece in, see there? And then we're just gonna go ahead and keep sewing until we have the whole thing done. So I had decided to come back up through and um, kind of try to make these crisscrosses. So I'm gonna go every other stitch and go up from the bottom and then it's going to sort of make like this little crisscross effect. Um, and then I'm going to go back in the hole behind the one I did the crisscross in. I'm probably just totally confusing you, so don't even worry about this. Just sew it up however you want. And then when you go to do the end piece, um, you can just stick it in, tie it off, and then you can leave. I like to leave a little end on it um, just for fun. You could add beads to it if you wanted um, or just leave it. And we have both sides done, and now let's get the binding put together. So I have a heavy-duty piece of black cardstock here, and this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to glue it to the inside of the book, so you're not going to see this part of it. And I'm just measuring out. I'm leaving a little bit in the middle for um, my my little book because it's going to be a little bit thicker. And then I'm going to take scissors here and just just distress the edges of it. I love a distressed look. I don't know why. It's just kind of fun. So now we're going to line these up. I have some Yes Paste here. Um, it is a uh, glue and it works awesome, but it does take a little bit to dry. So we're gonna put our glue on. Oops, and then I forgot I decided I wanted to have a closure for my book. So I'm putting some glue down and then I have two different little ribbons. I have uh, this gold rope um, and then I have, oops, let's see, we gotta line it up. I have the piece of paper above it so that way I know where my spacing is. So I have enough rope on either end, and then I have this kind of sparkly ribbon that we're going to add over top of that as well. Once you have those down, then you're just going to go ahead and glue on your, your uh, black cardstock to the inside of your binding book. Uh, double-sided tape. I just have this yes glue and I like it, but I'm gonna, it does take a little bit to dry and because it's a book I want to make sure it stays together. So I have clamps and then once it's dry, like here, ah, it's together. So this bottom part, um, it kind of pulled up and I just thought, well I wonder if I could rip a little piece off. And yeah, so that's why that's there, but you know, it's something kind of fun. So we're gonna bring back because I can't, I have to have sparkle on the inside too. So we're gonna bring back our Lindy's and go ahead and spray the inside so it kind of matches the outside.
there it is. Look at that shimmer on the inside. Oh my gosh, I'm just so in love with that. So now we're gonna take our pages and glue them into our book. I have some uh, sequin double-sided tape here, and we're just gonna rip off a little page. You could use any double-sided tape, or you could use glue, uh, matte medium, whatever fits your fancy. And um, we're just going to, I'm gonna trim this off here, and then peel the backing off, and then we're gonna stick it into our book. We wanna make sure that it's going to open to our left. So we're gonna line up, let me get all this tape off here, there we go. So we're gonna line up the top, and we're gonna leave that little bit of um, edging on the top and then matching on the bottom there so you can see that. And then watch this, guys. Look at our book folds open. We have our circle journal pages. Ta-da! We did it! So if you'd like to see how I finished my book and the one that you could win, then just keep watching. Thanks so much for tuning in today and making this teeny tiny little intergalactic circle journal with me. Now, don't forget to leave a comment down in the description box below for your chance to win. And also check out the live art journaling group over on Facebook. Link in the description box below. Thanks so much. And until next time, happy creating. <laughs>